I, Madam Speaker, in conclusion, when I saw even vetting of CSS, I know the report is being, uh, being written, Madam Speaker, but they, we can make general observations because it was an open process, Madam Speaker. You find the, the process of vetting of cabinet nominees, Madam Speaker, even the chair was, was talking more <laughs> than the nominees and making just comments, Madam Speaker, and making funny comments. How do you tell a nominee don't bring your bedroom matters before this committee? Is that even a valid question to ask? Instead of asking how many taxes you are paid for this country, what is your ability, what is your competence, Madam Speaker, I'm impressed by a number of nominees. One person who impressed me is former Governor of Mombasa, Hali Hassan Joe. Despite getting a D minus, he's having two masters and he's going for PhD. Which inspiration would you want? That inspiration is the best. It means in life you must work hard. So from that vetting, at least the young people, people who do not perform well, people who went to Kumbaru, Madam Speaker. I know Senator Kalwala has not been having kind words to, towards me, but the inspiration of uh, Governor Hali Hassan Joho, the nominee of Mining and Blue Economy, Madam Speaker, even shocked the country with the grasp of Queen's language, with that clear thought process, Madam Speaker. I think that was the observation, Madam Speaker. Another nominee that impressed me was the former MP of Garissa Town, Aden Duale, Madam Speaker. I was happy with his honesty. He said he doesn't receive phone calls because members of parliament are corrupt. Anyway, the chair did not decide to correct, so it is unanswered. Minister Duale was an honest man. He said he does not receive our phone calls as members of parliament because we are corrupt, Madam Speaker. But no one corrected. It is unanswered. We can print it and bring it here, Madam Speaker. So we need honest. Even uh, Madam Speaker Eric Muradi that was having is what 30, 30, 30, 32 million. I want to agree and challenge the GNC that Eric Murray, Madam Speaker, if approved, will be a no. Will be a bag of money. He's only 32 million worth. He doesn't have a car. He's a young man with a vision. That should encourage, Madam Speaker, the, how we perform as a country. We should believe in the people that we have, Madam Speaker. So even as we did vetting, and I'm proposing this, Madam Speaker, going into the future. Can you direct when our committees does vetting like finance and budget? I have noticed in our committee rooms when I'm speaker, there is no video recording. It is only answered. I wish and I request, and I wish the commissioners or the commissioner is here. At least every committee room should have a video recording so that we have the answer and video recording so that some of us, Madam Speaker, some of these vi uh, videos that are being vetted, Madam Speaker, can have opportunity to be able to go through, Madam Speaker. So the 